Hi, hello, uh, welcome to Max. Uh, today we're going to look at the material editor. Um, so there's a couple of things you'd know about it. First, where you can access it from. Uh, you can do it the slow way, which is rendering, and then come down to material editor. And then you've got the options of uh, compact or slate material editor, and we're going to look at the slate material editor. Um, I'll open up compact. Uh, this is what some of you may be used to um, on the older, um, the older Macs. Uh, we don't want to use this, we want to move over to the slate editor. So this is the new uh, material for Max. Uh, it's closer to UDK and it's the way it's, things are going to move. So even if you're used to the old one, try and move on to this new slate uh, editor. Um, so that's the long way by going to rendering and coming down to material editor. Um, we could just come straight across to the icon and bring that up. Um, or I use a short um, shortcut on the keyboard which is M. Uh, and I think I find that the easiest way. Okay, so now we're in the slate editor. If we come into the view and we uh, right click, we can hit materials. So we open that and we come down to standard. Um, we will cover all the others in here, the uh, blends and composites and all these things. But for the moment, we'll just open a standard material. So there we have our, um, our material. I'm going to look at bringing in a diffuse color. So these are the standard uh, standard materials that we've covered in Crazy Bump. So diffuse and specular, um, and then we've got bump maps, and those kind of things. So there are a couple of ways of doing this. If we double click uh, diffuse color, we can see that it brings you up with this window here. And uh, this is the old style. So uh, any of you that are used to the compact mode will know this. So you can come across to diffuse. You can click on this button. You can navigate to the bitmap and double click and then you can navigate obviously I've done this before so it's uh, defaulted to this folder but you would navigate to your uh, folder and then bring in your color so I'm going to bring in that color map I'll open that and you can see that it brings in uh, the uh, bitmap and the Betty flow now I'm just going to double click this and uh, that gives me a nicer view so I can see what's happening and how I'm setting up my um, my material uh, so that's one way of doing it. I can just, if I just highlight that and delete it, the other way is to just drag out here, go to bitmap, and then navigate again to your material. So nice and easy. Um, let's go ahead and uh, so obviously these are all there's all the parameters around here, so we can play with the specular level and the glossiness. So you'll notice as we do this, the, the image, excuse me, the image changes here in the uh, in the. In the material, so we can bring that up. So we can mess around with all these. Obviously, that's not really what we want. So we'll bring that down. But um, to bring in uh, the specular level, we do exactly the same. We just drag out here. We go to bitmap. We uh, look for our spec map. So happy with that. Um, now I haven't done a another bitmap for this spec color, but you can just plug this into that as well, which will work quite well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So let's look at the bump map. So this is where you want to put your normal map in, but you don't just go straight to the uh, bitmap. So I'll just drag out the bump map here. Now, initially you'll want to do this, but actually what you want to do is go to normal bump. Yeah, and that'll bring in another little uh, controller here. And then this is where you bring in your bump map. So again, to bitmap and then straight to your normal map you know that. so that's the only difference really everything else is brought straight in um, but your normal map is brought in through a normal bump um, if this is starting to get a bit of a mess there are a couple of nice tools up here uh, layout children and layout vertical so we can click those so they're all nice and neat um, and you can go into each one of these double click and uh, change the specular if you want in here um, you can also view all these in your maps. So if we open up, come across and open up maps, we can see that we have specular color here, we have specular level, we have bump map, and we can bring up and down the amount, and we can see that change in here. Um, so let's just bring in a displacement as well. So I'm going to just drag these down out of the way. There we go. Straight up to bitmap, displacement, we'll have that. Okay, so I don't know why that's just jumped everything around, but I can clear that up by 
just hitting the um, layout vertical. Okay, so now we have a one. Now we can see that that displacement has really started to chew into this image. So we're going to bring that displacement right down because it's defaulted to 100%. So let's bring it right down. So maybe even a bit more. And of course we can turn these off by just unticking them as well. So we can see what instantly is happening. Okay, so we've now set up our material, but we have not got it into the scene yet. Uh, and to do that, you need to right click this material and you can assign material to selection. Now you can see that this is greyed out and this is greyed out because in my viewport I don't have anything selected. So if I select this wall and then right click it allows me to assign it. So I will assign it. See this little bars come in to show that it's assigned. But in your viewport you still can't see anything. And that's because there's one more thing to do. Again right click into here and come down to show shaded material in viewport. As soon as you do that, this gets a red stripe across it to show that it's seeable in the viewport and you can see it onto your object. Um, so that is the basic way of getting maps into the material editor. Obviously to set up another map you just come across here and start again materials, standard material, we can set this up and uh, make another map. Um, and so that's it, that's uh, the easy way of putting materials into Max. Uh, we will cover in the next one looking at actually texturing this now.